Hi, party people group. I think y'all are four <laughs> now. Um, happy Friday the 13th. I posted a spread uh, with 13 different questions for tarot cards um, this early this morning and um, had quite a bit of a response. I was going to type everything out, but it, it, there were just so many of you that it just seemed easier to do videos. So what I'm doing is videos in groups of six with your questions here. And I've done three already, so this is group four. And I had to take a break, and I'm going to do two more, and then I'm calling it for the day because... Anyhow, I'm calling it for the day after this. Okay, so uh, next person up is Melissa, and she wanted number three, broken mirror, something you aren't seeing clearly or something confusing. Okay, um, I've got my Master Magpie deck over here. It's it's a big, huge deck in a big wooden box. Can you see it? It's a whole bunch of mixed up decks. Any cards that were pulled previously have been pulled out and set to the side, so nobody will be getting the same card. Um, there's no reason with a deck this large for anybody to have to double up with the same card. All right. So this is from Melissa. We're looking for broken mirror, something you aren't seeing clearly, something confusing. Oh, okay. That's two cards and they just fell out and I'm just not going to do that. So we're just going to do it this way. All right. So three of cups. So this is a celebratory card uh, with your friends. And in this case, it's, I think, the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, Bubbles and, oh, I didn't watch it enough to know. Um, but anyhow, it's the Powerpuff Girls. So you have a squad or you have a team or you have support, um, probably from women friends that is far greater than, than what you think it is. Because your question was something you aren't seeing clearly or something confusing. So my guess with this particular card is that you have support in, in arenas that you were not aware of or that you have a group of women that are wanting to come together with you and perhaps you might be in a little bit in resistance. I, I tend to do that myself. I you know, kind of tend to keep my distance from people that want to get too close because of past incidences and that kind of thing. Um, but it, 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 if that's the case with you, I don't know if it is, that's just my experience, um, it, it might be time to move past that and, and pull in your tribe and pull in your friends um, that want to support and love you and let all that good stuff happen. And, and But you have got to be open to receive. It's one thing to want it. It's one thing to ask for it. It's a totally different thing to be open to it once it arrives. So perhaps you're keeping yourself a little closed off when it, it's time to open and be receptive to the people that want to love you in your life. That was a good card. Okay, next is Phoenix Lily, and she wanted three as well, or they wanted three. I don't know. Um, okay, so once again, something you aren't seeing clearly. I'm going to put that stack back and grab a different stack because that's the way we roll. And this deck, I did clear and reorder it between all the people, so it, 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 you're just getting shuffled in with a group of six, and, and then I'm fixing it before moving forward. All right. Oh, gosh. Something you aren't seeing clearly or something confusing. And you got the sun, which is one of the best cards in the deck. And in this particular one, that would be you, hun. You are the sun. You have got all that God energy and Christ consciousness and source energy. I, 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 I use the term God like not the God that most people think. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about source energy and all that coming into you and you can see it right there. So something that's confusing or not seeing clearly is you are not seeing your own divineness uh, is what I would say right off the bat that you are the sun, you are the light, you make your own way, you shine your own light on your path and that's how you work out of the darkness and that kind of thing um, is by being the light, being the sun and that's you and if you weren't aware of it, now you are. It's really a great card. I mean, it's like one of the best ones in the deck. Um, so, yeah, enjoy that. Take that. Take that and run. All right. Jessica, number 11. Okay, bad luck. Something to prepare for going poorly. Oh, hon, you are a brave soul. God. Um. Okay. Well, you know what? That card just fell out. So 
that's not something to be that's not something that's bad luck though um it's actually you have all the tools that you need to be successful and and um yeah, I'm glad this fell out instead of like a bad luck card because that's just setting yourself up. Honestly, that, that question is setting yourself up um, to step right into things going poorly. Uh, let's not do that today. <laughs> let's not. It's Friday the 13th. A lot of people have a super superstition about it. So let's cast this in a positive light. I'm totally ignoring that you chose that question for yourself. And I'm just going to press on through with you have all the tools you need to succeed in life. You have the riches you have the pentacles you have you have your emotions your cups you have your swords which is your analytical mind and your thoughts and then you also have um what did i leave out oh my sign fire wands fiery passion and all that stuff you have all the tools you need to succeed and so there's no reason to set yourself up for failure when you have everything set up for success so i, I sorry for ignoring your question but um i just not going to cast bad luck on this day. It's got enough of that going on already. So take this as, uh, as you know, um, you got everything you need. You've got all the tools. You're going to succeed. Things are working out for you. Okay. Jessica is 11. Oh, God, 11 again. Oh, no, that's the person I just did. I'm sorry. Um, Helen is three. Okay. So, broken mirror, something you aren't seeing clearly, something confusing. Uh-oh, my deck got turned over in all of this. Okay, I'm going to grab a fresh stack. And, yes, we just did Jessica. Now we're doing Helen. Broken mirror, something you aren't seeing clearly, something confusing. Okay, so this is the Hierophant, and this is a, a, a different interpretation on the, the traditional card. The traditional card has got a, a person that looks very papal, like the Pope, and he's got the keys to the kingdom, and he feels like he's the only one that knows um, the higher power and he's going to bring that knowledge down into the people and share that around. He's got two acolytes bowing at his feet. And I really have a, 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 I don't like that card. And so most of my deck has got different interpretations of the Hierophant for that very reason, because I do not believe that you need a middleman between you and your higher power, that you are it. And so, um, yeah, th so this was something you aren't seeing clearly or something that's confusing to you. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you're very seeped in tradition and that if you step away from the traditional learning and the traditional uh, dogma and the traditional religions, that you're going to find a much deeper meaning um, for yourself and, and that you can be your own guru. You don't need a middleman to tell you how to, to think, how to, how to act. Um, it's intrinsic knowledge for people that are in touch with their higher selves and their spirit. And so the Hierophant... Um, this particular one is urging you to get in touch with that. Uh, this particular card is from the Zodiac, so there's also a Taurus symbol on there. Um, so that's very grounded, um, um, earthly energies. So um, that might be something to consider as well. And um, it's also a five card, which it, it talks about conflict. So this might be something that you've kind of struggled with for a while. And um, uh, so look, look to yourself. Uh, and not outside sources for validation. Um, the answers are never outside of you. They're always inside. So go within and, and you'll discover your own truth. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four. We're on to Richard who wanted number seven. So wishbone, a wish you made that will come true or a wish to focus on. That's a good question. That was one of my favorites out of the whole deck. So let's see, let's see what you got going on, Richard. Oh, okay. So this is like a bonus card in some of the decks, and it's the happy squirrel. And and it so it's just enjoyment and and being happy and 
and it, the the squirrels there they're busy at work making cookies. This is a cookie deck, so it's just an all-round happy card. It's like one of those bonus cards. It's weird. I don't have any tarot knowledge to fall back on, so I'm kind of winging it with this. And it's like a, you know, a wish that you made that will come true or a wish to focus on. And I would say that whatever you've wished for, that this is a good omen, that, that happy squirrel means you're, the wish is going to be fulfilled and you're going to get what you want. And um, I don't know. If you don't have a wish, maybe you go make some cookies and make one at this point um but the squirrels are happy and and it looks like a a, a fabulous card um all around maybe spend time with the fans spend, spend time with people you love and bring more abundance be grateful for what you already have bring more into your life good card all right how many is that one two three four five one more for this set and then we'll clear out the video and uh, or we'll start over so this is Janetta, and Janetta picked number four, which is knock on wood, where are you protected and how to protect yourself. Okay, so you are protected, um, or where you need to protect yourself is bringing balance into your life. Uh, this is in the physical realm, and and it's, it, it's, it's, Keeping balance between your physical life and your spiritual life is really what this card means. And so bringing it into, into balance and, and finding equilibrium um, with those two things. Because it's easy to get pulled out of a spiritual practice or it's, it's hard to keep one. Um, if you've got a lot of weight hanging on you from your, your everyday 3D reality. So... Um, something that you might not be seeing clearly is is where you're out of balance so i would look i would look it, you know where you're going to feel out of balance uh usually this is like i said between uh reality and spirituality but there's also other things if you are investing too much time in work and not enough time in pleasure or uh, look to where you're spending your time and your energy and 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 you will know where you're out of balance if you put it from that perspective. Um, and because if something's weighing heavily on you, then something else is being neglected. So there's got to be balance there. That's good Libra card as well. Okay, so that's it for this video. And I will be back with the last six and then I'm wrapping it up for the day. Thanks for stopping by.